uh, welcome back to it. And well, can't judge from the last video we put out that uh, we are right back in the haying season. So that means a break on the barn for a little bit, but it also means you guys get to see everything else I do. So, or what I don't do. You, you decide which is which. So, anyhow, tonight's project after work here. Uh, the radiator in the tractor you guys see me using a lot, that thing leaks like a sieve. And there's a solder seam on the top of it. And what happened is that solder seam split. I uh, re-soldered it here a couple years ago. Held for about six months. Split again where I made the repair. And uh, But what I have here is I have an old Alice Chalmers 185 that we don't use a whole lot. We just use it for brush hogging in the fall. And uh, the radiator just happens to fit out of this into that one. So tonight we're going to be ripping these tractors apart get the hoods off and uh, swap the radiators over from one to the other so stay tuned it should be fun intake for my uh, air intake for fresh air and that's got to come off of there because as you can see it holds that uh, radiator right on there I already drained this out earlier it doesn't hold the radiator on it runs right over top of it English you know English so I'm just gonna swing that out of the way another glove put over that and most people would be putting the damn gloves on their hand not uh, using it to cover everything what are you doing Emma probably these old radiator hoses they get kind of baked on you know what I mean and if you go to Wrestle them too much sometimes. At least there's none on this side. <laughs> yeah, there is that. But I remember going to it. I remember going to it. It was like the first year we went to Chowders. Why don't you set them on uh, by that tire right there, okay? I'll just set them on the tire. When the tractor breaks down. Coffee time. 
I live on black coffee probably a lot more than what's good for me. All right, we ready for the moment of truth? What? Well, we got to get this out of there. Let's go get it out of there. No, I can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? I'm not strong enough. What do you mean you're not strong enough? I'm an eight-year-old girl. You're stronger than most men twice your size. Okay, what do we got to do, though, before we uh, yank this out of here? Uh, what should we do? What do you think we should do? You got chocolate all over your face. I know. I don't care though. You don't care though? I wish I had summer vacation and chocolate all over my face. Boy, it'd be awful nice, wouldn't it? These kids have the life of Riley, I'll tell you what. We're on summer vacation because I'm only going into fourth grade. Okay. So what would you do here? Is there anything that we thing. should what's that? Check the valve. Do what valve? Well, like, check, like, I don't know. Check if everything's unhooked before you take it out. You got it exactly right. Check for, very good, Emma. Check, make sure everything's unhooked. So, we got the... So you don't, like, rip something out or something? We got the radiator hose unhooked there. We got it unhooked right there. We got it all unbolted, right? Yeah. All six I'm, bolts I'm, are out I'm, of it. Let me count how much bolts are over there. Well, it should only be five, but... Six, seven. In order to get this out, you know what we have to do? we got to... Pull that. I can pull from this side. Hold on. You want to pull from that side? Then you go for it. Oh, well, you got to go straight up. I've never seen the inside of a tractor. Oh. Oh, just okay. it into the bucket. Okay, we gotta let it drain into the bucket. I'm not gonna. We touch don't it. want that stuff in the yard because that could kill your dogs and cats if they lick that antifreeze up. What's well, going into the That and we little. have a. What's that? It's going into the yard a little. Just dripping. But I, you can't really notice it. I can't even see it. And Cuddles just. It's almost done. It's almost done. Have you ever gotten an antifreeze on your hands? Oh yeah. Lots of times. It's dripping. It's dripping? It's a little. It's a little tiny. Gonna get a little out there, most likely, but I hate to, you know what I mean? Antifreeze is nasty stuff. It's almost done. Just have a couple more drips. Okay, it's done. It's actually done. Just a little tiny bit just dripped out. A little dripping out, but just from the pipe thing. See, now you get to lift it straight up. Straight up? Straight up. You wanna get that side? Try. Ready? Get right there. Straight up. Oh god, this is heavy. Hold on. This is actually heavy. You're leaving me like just holding it. There we go. Oh. Now that's what it looks like with no radiator. wasn't too bad, but I can tell you a couple spots I don't like, and I'm not sure what happened, but at one point in time somebody smashed that, but let's see how, right there, a tiny little crack right there, and let's do this with the camera a little bit, huh? That ought to be fun. We got a tiny little crack right there. You can also see it looks like the JB Weld Monster came and worked on this a little bit. And looks like we have some on the back as well. But I do know that for the most part, this one right here barely lost any fluid at all out of it. 
and probably what it did lose was probably right out of those cracks right there. Those are cracks? Yep, it's from whenever this was. Right there? Yeah, you can actually see the marks. Oh yeah, right there. You can see the marks on the top here where it like leaked there. out. Yeah, just like right there. And then there. So, if I can get that cleaned up good enough, I'm going to show you guys how uh, it should be brass. This whole top should be brass, and I should be able to uh, solder that with silver bearing solder. So I'm going to see if I can get that cleaned up, because I really... This is a lot better shape than what's in the other tractor right now, but if I'm going to have this thing apart like it is, I really don't feel like having it leak on me. So I think I'm going to try to hit that and see what happens. Hopefully we don't make it worse.